So I'm so excited right now. I just got a call from my local fish store. Um, not my local fish store, but the one that's about an hour away. And my axolotls are old enough for me to come pick up. I'm so stinking excited right now. Okay, this is it. I'm getting in the car and I'm headed to pick up my axolotls. Here I am at the local fish store. I'm gonna take a look outside before I go inside. Okay, here's the axolotls. These aren't mine, mine are in the back. But I am getting a leucistic, I'm getting an albino, and I'm getting a dark natural one, I think it is. Oh my God, they're so adorable. Oh, do you see them snap? They're not aggressive, it's just that the tail in front of them moved, so they just snap at anything like it's food. And even if they snapped at my finger, they wouldn't break the skin. And I gotta get some black worms. Oh! I can't wait to go get mine. Okay, he went in the back to bring out mine. He's had them in the back room. Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics. I just got back from the fish store with my axolotls. So this is a tank that I've had set up for a while with some cycled media in here. But I have in gravel growing some dwarf sage. I'm just gonna take it out because I don't think they like the gravel. This water's not warm. It's not ice cold, but it's about 63 degrees. I'm a little spoiled with the tropical fish. You know, stick my hand in water and cleaning out fish tanks, it's never cool. <laughs> Where am I gonna put these? I'm gonna end up planting them. I was just trying to make sure that these are the dwarf sage, that I got some decent roots on them. Um, I don't know if I will. I'm gonna put this in my uh, koi and goldfish tank for now, because that's similar temperature, similar, similar parameters, just for now. And of course, I don't have a towel. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So I got them in here. I got one leucistic, one albino. Oh, I got one leucistic, one albino, and one regular. And I'm going to call them um, Laguna. I'm going to call the leucistic one Soshi. And the albino Milko. So what I'm going to do is turn that light off because I don't really need the light. The lights are for my aquaponics. But I want to test this water here. I did get the information from the fish store. I don't always go by it. Where's my TDS meter? Now, since I do have three of them, right now they're in a 20, they're going in a 20 long, but eventually they're going to go into the 40 breeder as they get bigger. I got plenty of time. These, these guys should live to be about 10, 15 years old. So they've acclimated to the temperature. I am going, I'm so excited. Okay, I got my strainer. Although the guy just picked them up very calmly. These guys were not afraid of him at all. So I don't know how this will work out, but this is what I'm doing. Don't want to lose them in the bucket. They come out. Get all the water out. So I see the two albinos are going to be real easy to see. I don't think see the natural one, natural color one is going to be all that easy to see. Huh, I should have thought of that before I put in black sand. I'm so excited. So I'm going to do a spotlight on these guys and go over their habitat, who they are, why I think they're so fascinating, aside from amazingly cute. Hi, buddy. And I'm going to get a little feeding dish over here so I don't just feed them in the tank. This one goes underneath this light, so they won't have too, many, too much light in here at all. I don't know why it was blinking. I'm going to check that out, too. Huh. Unless it was just dying out. But I'm going to build another little top right here, just in case as they get older, they jump. Now that I have the tank all set up and ready to roll, I realize 
I can't have this tank on the ground like this. I can't get down and feed them. I will be missing half of what they do because it's so low to the ground. And I think I'm going to have to set up another tank and move them a little higher. Thanks for checking out my axolotls. See you next time.